Drawing the head in profile can be hard, especially when it comes to proportions. In this video, I have some tools that I use that help me to lock it all in place. My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws. Come on, let's get to work. So let's go ahead and start with a, uh, a quick gesture. And a quick gesture, I'm holding my pencil, of course, by the back and keeping it nice and light. And I'm just like skating, like an ice skater skating across to give me a sense of where things might go. And you want to keep this light because we're going to make adjustments to it. All right, so that would be that would be considered my gesture. And then I'm going to put her temples in. So I'm going to, can you see her temples? Her temples are really clear over here. Let me show it to you. Look, her temples are right there. And it's right around the other side, but that definitely is where that main temple is. All right, so here we go. All right, let's circle this around here to try and get the side of her head. I'm keeping, keeping this light right now. And then look at the center the center is not dead center here it's actually right over there this is the placement of the face okay so i'm going to drop a line coming down there and we can see this visor that i just showed you a minute ago Okay. Nose is coming down. Mouth is coming down here. All right, let's look at this. So mouth is going to be right about there. You know, I'm going to make my drawing just a little bit bigger, I think. Mouth is just about right there. And then the chin is going to be somewhere right about there. And what I'm doing is I'm making guesstimates here. And this is how I'm doing it. I'm kind of looking at the distance between, oops. I'm looking at the distance between like this point right there and the bottom of her nose. You see that? And then I'm looking all the way down here to her chin. So these are about the same distance. So, so this is what I have here. Boom, boom, and about the same distance, almost to about there. All right, let's continue on now. All right, so this is going to come down just a little bit. We have the far side over here. Let's get this nose in a little bit. This nose is going to be very helpful. So this is the far side, the underside of the nose. Now we're going to come up there just a bit. And with the nose, you can see, I'm going to draw it down here real quick, a little closer view of this for you. This, the, when you draw this nostril here, it's going to come around like a, like almost like this. See that? 
So when we draw it over here, let's, let's go ahead and do, follow that same, same process there. And it's a little bit of a hook. Underneath, we're going to curve around just a bit. <clears throat> Before we go any further, let's come back up and get her eyes in. That's going to help us with our <clears throat> locating of the mouth. So, <clears throat> once again, I am going to start using horizontal and vertical measurements. And what that means is this. In my eye, in my mind, I'm looking at her face, and I'm thinking, hmm, if I ran a line, <clears throat> a vertical line right at her nose, okay, so her right eye is just to the right of that line. All right. <clears throat> if, if I look at this right here, look at this. This is the curve of her nose. You see that? And I can see her eyelash starts pretty low there. All right, so let's let's look to that right there. Okay, so my, I know that my eyelash, if this is the inside curve of my nose, which I've already put down, and I'm going to draw this lightly, it, her eyelash is gonna start up and come across, you see that? Now let's, let's draw that horizontal line here and then get this other eye in, and we can tell that this eye is higher, a little bit higher, higher than that uh, eyeball. And look at this too, I just noticed this alignment. Look at this, look where this eye is in relationship to the temple. There's, there's the temple and there's the back of her eye, you see that? So her temple almost, almost divides that right in half. All right, so there's my eye, and I'm gonna draw it down here so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna put it right here. So when I go to draw this eyelid, the uh, eyelid, I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna move up, and then this thing kind of goes around it. You see what I mean? It goes around it like this. And the bottom here comes around, and this is going to circle around like this. And then very carefully, I'm looking to see where her iris is, and it's going to come in here. And of course, her pupil is going to be right about there. Let's go ahead and do that now in, the, uh, in our picture here. So before I, I'm just about ready to do it, but I want to show you where I'm lining it up at. Look at this. There's the bridge of the nose, and I can see about, about where I should start it, okay? When you're drawing portraitures, you are constantly looking for these measurements. All right, so I'm going to come up. Okay, and then the lower her oh, lower eyelid. And then you could see this little increase, watch now. This is the, that part of the eyelid there and I probably should have closed mine down just a little bit more. Okay, I think that will work. And then when I go to draw her iris, uh, you can see the very, just the tip of the bottom touch the lower eyelid. So watch this. See that? And then I'm gonna put my, uh, my pupil in. And then this whole area is very, it has very, a lot of tone in it. So I'm gonna just drop all that in there. And then her eyelash, this eyelash is coming from, uh, it's coming up from underneath. So watch. 
some coming up from underneath. And I'm thinking of, of as a mass. Here's one other thing I want to show you on this. When, when, you, when you get to the lower eyelid, be mindful, and you could see it in the picture very carefully. There is a little bit of light that will, the, the thickness of the skin will capture. And look, you could see it right here. I'm going to zoom in here. Look. You could see you could see that uh, you could see that little bit of light. Ooh, look at that! You can see that little bit of light right here. You see that? So we wanna we wanna honor that when we. Uh, when we put our lower eyelid in, always want to have that little bit of light. Am I on the right page? Yes, I am. Okay. All right, I'm going to move on and get my other eyelash in now. And a lot of times when I draw, I push down, and as I make my, my mark, I pull up on it. I push down and pull up, and that gives me a nice thick and thin line. I would do that too also with my, uh, if I was using, well, my favorite drawing thing is a, is a Crayola pencil. It's soft lead, but I would, I would do that using that. Okay, let's drop a little bit of shadow underneath our nose here. And then look closely at her nose here. She has this, she has the shadow underneath, a little bit of highlight, and then the shadow on top. You see that? Let's put that in. Okay. And then let's let's get this eyebrow in. First thing we're going to do is, and I I look to where my shadows are, and I could kind of start to outline outline where the shadows will go. So she has some nice ad eye shadow on here. Let's put that. Let's just put the border where that's going to go, and like this. Just look carefully at the picture here. Okay, and then I'm going to add some tone in that area. And we want to place it correctly here. So we're looking at negative space on either side. Where is it lining up? Okay, that looks pretty good. I've got this, this angle coming up here. And then it's coming all the way back right past that temple line. You see that? And I'm going to fill mine in. And there's a secondary tone in here that I can add. I'm just going in and adjusting some of my tones around the eye here. All right, moving right along. Moving right along, okay, we have this part of the barrel of the mouth. The septum. Now let's look closely at her mouth here, okay? So 
The where does the back of this? I'm looking. I'm looking at the back of her mouth here. So let's change this to be this so we can see it. Where does this line up with? Oh look, that lines up almost with the front of her eye there. Okay. All right. So let's kind of make sure we draw it that far back. And then I'm just going to draw a line here to guide me before I draw the, the lips. And now I'm going to draw the top of the lip, okay? And I'm looking for the shape here. Okay. And then let's look at the let's look at the lower lip here and look very carefully now. Look very carefully how this works. All right. This lip almost comes all the way out there. You see that? And then circles back up there. I'm not putting her teeth in yet. We'll get there. Now let's get her teeth. So if I look closely, I don't, I never like to draw teeth. I always draw the spaces around the teeth. I don't know why. It's just, maybe it's out of habit. Who knows? So I'm just going to draw around the teeth. And I'm going to even drop a little tone on them. And I'm going to drop a little tone now on her lower lip, making sure that it's not as dark as her upper lip. She has a little bit of a tone underneath her lower lip, the shadow. And then we have her chin. And how far does her chin come out? Okay, so let me just look here closely. Okay, so it looks, as I'm looking at this now, I see something that I've, I've made a bit of a mistake on. Look at the relationship between my nose and my lip, my lip should um, actually extend out a little bit further than what it is. So I'm just gonna make that slight adjustment right there like that. That will help, that will help quite a bit there. All right, let's get this, let's get this uh, chin in here. And I'm looking at the negative negative shape and the negative space that I'm looking at is right here. I'm looking at this amount of negative shape, that negative, that space right there. And I'm looking at the angle as it comes back. We have this nose, look at that. You have the cheek right right about here. And then you have the uh, <clears throat> bottom of the ear. In our daily draw class, we went over this a couple weeks ago. And uh, I like to call that the Fantastic Four because and I'm, I'm gonna make a slight adjustment here on mine. As you go from the bottom of the bottom of the nose, bottom of the cheek, bottom of the ear, and then the back of the skull. It's going to be right about here. All of these things. Let me see if I can show it to you here. Look, look how they line up. You've got uh, 
the bottom of the nose, bottom of the cheek, ear, and then back of skull. Okay, those four things usually line up pretty good. Okay, great. Let's get this top of this hair in here. And I'm looking at the negative shape and look at this. I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm not using curves right now. I'm just using angles. Angle of the ear back here. And let's get this hair in. I'm just looking for the overall shape. I have to make my uh, drawing a little bit smaller here. Okay. All right, let's continue on here. Back of her neck is coming down here. Where's the front here? Okay, let's line that up nicely. You can see she has this tendon that goes from the back of her ear down, right down into the pit of her neck. And then I can see her shoulder is just, just about like this. We're not talking about shoulders tonight. Bottom of her hair is lining up horizontally with her mouth. And let's make sure that we get enough hair back here. And then this bun lines up almost with her ear there. You see that? Almost a, it's almost like a straight line coming back here. Okay. Now let's look at this hair and look at it in pieces. So I'm just sectioning it off almost like you would a map that was had different countries in it. Okay. And then we have our hair coming up here. All right, we have we have a piece like this. And then we have another piece. And then this is coming down. And then this comes into a beautiful curly cue. <clears throat> when I'm drawing the ear, let me show you. There's four parts to the ear. You have this part that I just drew. This would be considered a backward C. Then you have a backwards, almost like a, think of a uh, question mark, okay? Then you have the Y of the year. It's like this. You see that? It's like the letter Y. And then this comes down and you have a little letter C backwards. And those are your basic parts of the C. So it is, let me show you, it's a backwards letter C, it's a question mark, it's the letter Y, and then another C, a backwards letter C, okay? So let's put those in. You really can see this, this Y that she's got going here in her ear. And then the rest of that, the hair is going to cover. And I just saw, I need to drop in her other eyebrow there. There you go. All right. All right, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and drop an overall tone into her hair. And I'm just going to try and keep this as even as possible, going all the way covering all of her hair at once with the same even tone.
I like that tone, so actually I'm going to use that same tone and drop in the tones of her face following the planes. So look at this, this whole area is going to be under tone. Keep it light. All right, let's get in the secondary tone now. Tone onto her neck. And of course, it gets really dark down here. And right where this tone hits the uh, that shiny part there, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. darker right along in here. Building up my tones slowly. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to come back into my hair now and start thinking of it as mass in these different regions that I've mapped, mapped out here, okay? So before I do that, I'm gonna drop another tone on the entire hair because this is darker than her skin. Another even tone going all the way across to take it up at a whole nother level. Okay. And if I look at her hair, you know, the, even this, this whole back section here is really dark. So here we go again. Another tone. And where does this end? This almost ends like right there. We kind of have this imaginary line from the top of her head. You see that? To the, her ear. Get this real nice, almost like a silhouette in the back here. Look at these. Now I'm going to use these as uh, her hair back here. Surface lines. Good night, everyone. <laughs> All right, Marcus. Hey, have a happy Easter, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Have a happy Easter. Tune in tomorrow to see our, check out the dog. Our, we're going to do that next as soon as we're done. That's the Easter surprise, right? All right, let's get this, let's get this, let's keep working on this hair just a little bit here.
We have some people, I think, who are from Aust who live in Australia. So I, th I think they're done. I think their Easter Sunday is finished. It's always a weird concept. Okay, I'm going to be bold. I'm just going to drop that really dark back here. I was. I always yell at you guys, get your values in, right? Somebody's like, Kurt, get your values in. All right, how's that look overall? Not too bad, not too shabby. Okay. I think, I think we're just about done on this one here. More tone back in here. I'll get up tomorrow and think, oh, I wonder how that thing turned out and take a second look at it. Uh, look at that. Okay, that's straight down. Okay, this, this needs to be, I think, at a different angle. All right, that's it for me. I think we're going to get that. We're going to turn around and have some fun now with our uh, with our dog, okay? So, uh, yeah, there you go. I, I hope you picked something up. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do a comment. Give a thumbs up. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Bye-bye.